Yeah, I mean, it's been a, a whirlwind of an off season and preseason for us. And, and as we get close to the start of the first year, it uh, makes me uh, want to look back and kind of be thankful for the experiences I've had. I've, I've had the opportunity to play for, uh, work for, work with some um, great coaches and, and a lot of them that I still consider mentors that have really shaped the coach I am. So I've been doing a lot of uh, sitting back and kind of uh, you know, recalling the time I spent with them, how they did things, and, and what it taught me, and what it uh, kind of helped me turn into as a coach. So, um, just really thankful for those experiences, those relationships, those mentors that have helped me um, shape myself and the coach that I am uh, into what we got today. And excited to get this season started. Um, I think what's impressed me the most is when uh, you know new coaches come in I think it's uh, hard to get a program you know their way very quickly but I think if you came and watched the practice or them do anything I it seems like they've been running it for 10 years and then the resumes speak for themselves and I think Mercadante you know I think he picked a really good staff and Tyler Holt with the hitting, Petrowski with the pitching, and Linder with the behind the scenes work. I think uh, they all work very well together. And then like Merck was talking about with uh, the coaches he's got to play for, I think he's, I think he deserves uh, the head coach position here and I think he's gonna do a really good job with it. You know, this is obviously my second time through with the ASUN. You know, spent four years at Stetson and got a real uh, good idea of what, what this conference is all about. And there's great baseball that's played in this conference. I think you can look back, you know, seasons past, that every week it seems like an ASUN team is going into a, a Power Five opponent and, you know, competing their butts off or even knocking a team off. So um, there's a really high level of baseball that's played in the ASUN. You're going to face some teams that can really swing the bat and a couple staffs that have some really um, quality pitching staff. So I think, you know, it, it's it's important for us to really get that experience of playing um, really good teams early in the season with the opponents that we have. It's going to prepare us for our conference slate, which is it's going to be a tough one. I think uh, that when you start any season, a fast start is uh, what you want. But I think it's more important to, uh, you know, know who we are as a team. And then uh, Merck talks a lot about playing our brand of baseball. And I think if we play our brand and uh, with the coaches behind us and the players buy into what we're trying to do here, I think uh, I think we'll be just fine. North Florida ended 2023 with a 28 and 27 record and looks to improve on that win total this season. The Ospreys start off the Joe Mercadante era with a three-game home series against Delaware on opening weekend. UNF follows up with a midweek two-game series against the Florida Gators. On March 15th, the Ospreys travel to Charlotte to match up with Queens in their A-Sun opener. Now, let's head to Richmond and catch up with the EKU Colonels.